Build That Wall. Texas Governor Greg Abbott announcing this week he began funding the border wall in the Lone Star State himself. The state of Texas will cover the cost. This comes as President Trump saying this week that he will make the trip to the border. Quote, I have accepted the invitation of Texas Governor Greg Abbott to join him on an official visit to our nation's decimated southern border Wednesday, June 30th. What Biden and Harris have done and are continuing to do on our border is a grave and willful dereliction of duty. My visit will hopefully shine a spotlight on these crimes against our nation and show the incredible people of ICE and Border Patrol that they have our unshakable support. Amen. Joining us now is Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, thanks for being with us. You in Texas, I'm originally from New Mexico. You must be so frustrated there. What is the federal government telling you guys? Uh, absolutely nothing other than oh. just continuing with policies that are devastating to the border, devastating to our country, not even helpful to the immigrants that it supposedly helps. And so I'm pretty encouraged that President Trump's coming down. I'm very encouraged by what Governor Abbott's doing. We have to sort of take matters into our own hands because we are getting no, not, not, not just no help, but they're actually doing, the, the Biden administration is doing harm to, my, to our state. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I wonder if anyone in Washington does. So you in Texas have got the money. You're going to build the wall. Have you gotten any kickback on that? Like, wait, hey, wait, that's a, an international border? How's that going to work? Well, here's the deal. I don't think they can stop us from putting a wall on Texas property. We can't we can't put a wall on federal property, but if it's Texas property mm -hmm. or it's private property that we have a deal with the landowners, I don't think the federal government has any say over that. It's not, uh, it, it has nothing to do with them. And uh, I'm, they may try to stop us, but I guarantee you they'll have the fight of their lifetime if they do. <laughs> I know the will of Texans very well. Uh, so have you gotten the eminent domain issue figured out? The, the people where you want to build the wall have given permission, or is that still in flux? Well, so we have over 1,200-mile borders. So first yeah. of all, the states can figure out which part they're going to do. $250 million to start is a good start, and, and I think there's going to be private funding that will add to that. But that is not sufficient to cover the whole border. So I think it's going to be a priority issue. And then it's going to be working with private landowners to see, one, if they'll sell it to us, and then if they don't, whether we can use eminent domain to continue the wall where we need it. Right. And Governor DeSantis of Florida is heeding the call from your state to send in people to help. How's that going to work? Who's coming? Well, first of all, I'm very excited. I really appreciate Florida and Governor DeSantis stepping up to the plate. I think states are going to have to band together to because clearly the Biden administration is not going to do anything. And, and, at worst, they're they're going to be they're going to be harming us. So, I, I think they're going to try to send law enforcement people to help us, and I think there are other states that are looking at that right now. Yeah. Well, the the world is watching, and we see those uh, streams of migrants coming in, and you need the help. Ken Paxton, thanks a lot for joining us, the Attorney General of the fine state of Texas. Have a good thanks day. Thanks a lot. Thanks. You too. Uh, Customs and Border Patrol reporting more shocking numbers about immigration. Every month so far this year, border crossings completely surpassing the eight-year average between 2012 and 2020. Look at these numbers. But they aren't just numbers. They're people. They're women and children uh, making a dangerous journey. Some, frankly, they don't make it alive at all. I outlined these tragic statistics in my latest uh, syndicated column from Creators Syndicate. Uh, here, here's a takeout from that. Who benefits from the Biden-Harris immigration policy? A government estimate says that we are on track to handle more than 2 million immigrants entering via the southern border by the end of this fiscal year. Now, can I just remind everybody here, please, that the fiscal year ends in the end of September, that's three months from now. Joining us to discuss this, the human angle, is Republican Congresswoman from Texas, Beth Van Dyne. Congresswoman, thanks for being with us. I don't know if you're a mother, I'm a mother. I look at the pictures of those children being dropped from the high wall or the little boy stranded in the desert by himself and my heart just breaks. You've been to the border not long ago. Tell us what you saw. 
No, I'll tell you, it was horrendous. When we went there, we went to the Donna facility, which during a time of COVID was built to have no more than 250 people there. We saw 5,700 people there, the vast majority of them. Oh, goodness. Children. Um, were, were unaccompanied minors. I mean, you think about the crossings that they've had already just in the last month, 180,000 people. 14,000 of those were unaccompanied minors. And it's not just people who are coming over. We also seized over 300% increase in fentanyl, 311 pounds of meth. That's and what's coming up. cocaine and marijuana. Yeah, yeah, I know. It is, it is a complete crisis. I... Look at the faces of these people that I see crossing the border, crossing the Rio Grande. They're soaking wet. Some are sobbing with relief. And I wonder if the situation in this country was that bad, if I would have the courage to do that. And then they get here and 5,700 people in one, I mean, talk about putting people in cages, right? Yeah, and, and, they, and that's exactly what they were in. I mean, there are these, in, in the pictures that you've seen, really don't tell the whole story. You need to go down there and you need to see the scope because seeing it through a, a, the lens of a camera, you don't see the rooms and rooms and rooms. You don't get to talk to the Custom and Border Protection folks who are talking to these kids about the horrendous trip that they've just been through. And the worst part of it all is the Biden administration was warned that this was going to happen. Yeah. They were told exactly what policies were put into place how they were performing, and if they removed them, expect to see this happen. And they did it anyway. And now they won't even get down to the border to see it themselves. They won't even get down to the border and talk to Customs and Border Protection that, agents. That, that is really the most galling of all. They don't even go down and look at it. And they dare to tell us from the podium at the White House, well, most people are being turned away, or don't come, or the border's closed. Well, no, it isn't. And you know, because you've just been there. Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne, I could talk to you for hours about this, but thanks so much for joining us. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.